Hi, I'm Dean Bernard, creator of Investigative Interviewing Keys to Success. Over the last 20 years, I've consulted on hundreds of investigations and interviewed hundreds of people. Interviewing is both an art and a science. And after teaching interviewing skills to regulatory investigators, students of investigation, and human resource professionals, I've created this video to share my techniques with you. In this video, you'll find all kinds of tips and strategies for becoming a great interviewer, including such things as credibility assessment, note taking, strategic interviewing, and dealing with challenging interviewees. This 90 minute video is filled with excellent content, including video demonstrations of the right way and the not so right way to handle different interviewing situations. Take a look at what we offer. I know it can be uncomfortable talking um, about your coworkers and stuff like that and their, their actions, um, but the only thing I ask is that I'm looking for the truth at the end of it all. As you're aware, I'm going to already speak to other people regarding the investigation. Um, I will be making this as easy as possible for you and all I ask of you is that you try your best. Do you have any questions before we start? I am good to go. Okay, great. On that night, you were working pretty closely with Mr. Reynolds, correct? What do you mean by working closely? I mean you were helping each other out on the shift, backing each other up. If by backing each other up you mean lying for each other, you're wrong. And now who said anything about lying? Do you have a guilty conscience? Something you're hiding, perhaps? No. Is it so important to listen carefully to what your subject says? Um, in fact, uh, it, it's important to listen carefully all the time. As my wife has often said, listening isn't waiting for your turn to speak. So uh, it's very important that we listen carefully to what our subjects say and physically demonstrate that we're listening to them. So for example, when somebody's talking to me, oftentimes I'll be nodding my head. You know, when we're conducting interviews, we're note taking a lot of the time. And as we're note taking, we've got our heads down and we're writing our notes. And if that's all they see is the top of our head and our, hand, and our pen moving, that's not necessarily a good thing. This is what I'm talking about when I say ask the right questions. Think it through. Ask the detailed questions. It's not always just what happened, but it's the details that surround what happened. It's putting it into context and understanding that that's so important. People can lie, and people can lie well. Investigators have to be able to get past that. We have to recognize when we're being given half-truths, when people are not sharing the whole story with us. So we have to go through, we have to have techniques and, and ways of being able to detect deception. As the interviewer, you're the one in control. You're the one who's calling the shots. It doesn't have to be done in an aggressive way, but you have to be in control of the interview at all times. One of the big myths that exists when assessing credibility is this notion of eye contact. The, the number one myth, in my opinion, is the idea that if a person does not make eye contact with you, they have something to hide that could not be further from the truth. This video is ideal for anyone who truly wants to learn the art of the interview and master their interviewing skills. To order your copy of Investigative Interviewing Keys to Success, go to www.bernardinc.com. Remember, the best investigators are usually the best interviewers. So take your investigative interviewing to the next level and let me help you get there. Order your copy today.